History Channel's reality television show Pawn Stars has been running for nearly a decade and is the network's biggest success by far. Pawn Stars is produced by Left Field Pictures. The series is filmed in Las Vegas, Nevada, where it chronicles the daily activities at the world-famous Gold and Silver Pawn Shop. It's a 24-hour family business opened in 1989 and originally operated by Richard Old Man Harrison. His son, Rick Harrison, Rick's son, Corey Big Hoss Harrison, and Corey's childhood friend, Austin Chumley Russell. After all these years and seasons, we, the viewers, feel like we know everything about the world-famous Gold and Silver Pawn Shop as well as its staff members and show's cast members. But ultimately, we only see what the producers want us to see. However, most of the things that happen behind the scenes on set, we never see. Somehow it always finds a way to the public through the news or any other forms of media. And since reality television doesn't necessarily reflect reality, most of the things that come out are a surprise. But most people just sit back and like to watch Pawn Stars for what it is, a television show with a pinch of educational value while ignoring some of these very things. But before we get into some of the things that people ignore about the Pawn Stars, make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoy Pawn Stars as it helps the channel out tremendously and subscribe to the channel for future content just like this. Now everyone who watches Pawn Stars know that Corey is a pretty much laid back guy. So when he gets into trouble on more than one occasion, it came to a surprise. But today, everyone ignores it because it's Corey. Two years after the show took off, the cast members turned into celebrities. Corey was arrested for obstruction and battery in Big Bear, California. When after a few too many drinks in a bar, he got into a shouting match with a stranger. The police came after a security guard called 911 and Corey was arrested, but not before he assaulted both the policeman and the security guard as well. Those wild days were nowhere near the end for Corey as a few years later he participated in a motorcycle ride sponsored by Hot Bike Magazine. He and his buddy stopped in Jefferson City, Missouri for a drink and it was reported that Corey was so drunk and obnoxious that he couldn't even walk and find his way to the bathroom. So eventually he relieved himself on the bar stool and threw the bar stool across the room. Corey apologizes so his fans ignore his past behavior, especially because it seems he's calmed down a lot in the recent future. While the way Pawn Stars act when negotiating items with their customers might seem random, most people ignore the fact that it's all a part of their tactics. After Rick makes an offer, for instance, he will often stay silent until the seller responds regardless of how long it takes. If you pay attention, you will notice that unskilled hagglers will often become uncomfortable with the silence and will either accept the offer or lower their price considerably. Now for certain brands or products, there is no better way to get exposure and advertisement than through movies or television programs, and Pawn Stars is no exception, even though we tend to ignore and disregard it. More often than not, the guys from the show can be seen munching away on Subway sandwiches with the company's logo clearly visible on the wrapper, which you will have noticed if you paid attention to detail. As interesting enough, it seems there are perfectly made sandwiches and Subway wrappers lying around on set all the time. On one hand, this is okay because Subway is one of the main sponsors on the show, Pawn Stars. But on the other hand, it's awkward and shameless product placement, like guys calling the sandwich by their full branded name, and it sticks out like a sore thumb until you decide to ignore it. And that's how we're going to wrap up today's video, man, with a few things that people ignore about the Pawn Stars. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like on it if you like Pawn Stars, because like I said, it helps the channel out tremendously. And subscribe to the channel for future content just like this, and we'll see y'all on future videos.